Well, city leaders say there's a growing shortage of affordable housing here in Denver. They say the number of new housing units being built or becoming available, not keeping up with demand. And they say unless something's done, it's only going to get worse. We believe it is possible to build a Denver where everyone that works in this city can afford to live in this city. City leaders and community members gathered on the steps of Denver City County Building Monday. As Mayor Mike Johnston announced a ballot measure to increase the city's supply of affordable housing by increasing the city's sales tax. This will be a 0.5% uh, addition to the sales tax. will mean about $0.05 cents on every $10 purchase. It would bring in $100 million a year helping the city provide 44,000 housing units over the next decade. We are doing this today and we are doing this now because Denver can't afford to wait. The CEO of Mercy Housing supports the plan, especially with other funding sources drying up. But well, we know that um, as some of the federal funding has gotten used uh, over the last several years, we need to replace that with local funding. Denver's current sales tax is 8.81%. If passed, several ballot measures could raise it to 9.65%. I asked the mayor if a sales tax increase hurts the very people he's trying to help. It's important to know a couple things. It's important to know what is exempted from the sales tax. The mayor says because food, gas, medical supplies, and other basic necessities are exempt, the burden won't be as great, though he admits everyone will pay more. The ability to add $2 a week to their potential sales bill as a way to cut hundreds to thousands of dollars off of their monthly rent is a tr transformational change for them. The city council expects to take a final vote on this proposal August the 5th. Should they approve it, it would then be sent to November's ballot where voters would have the final say. And Denver, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.